with me tonight Let's go to far off places And search for treasures bright Come dream with me tonight Let's build a giant airship And sail into the sky Let's watch the ground so far below Let's watch the birds as they fly by Fly so high Come dream with me tonight Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Last time, we ventured to the house of the Wizard of Grundum. He told us that Princess Arusia was being held prisoner by fierce Katang warriors in the hard-to-find city. Just as we were about to take off, Gimmick insisted we stop to help an old lady. We didn't know it was Tweeg. Then, disguised as Katangs, we found the princess. But now we have to find a way out. Stay tuned for our next episode. dark here. I think the airship is this way. Whoa! Hey, fella! Watch where you're going. That's so loud, Teddy. Somebody might hear you. My name's not Teddy, fella. And you've got your helmet on backwards. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's why it's so dark around here. a new recruit. Huh? What's your name anyway? Does the name Grubby ring a bell? Ooh. I gotta stop doing that. Good work, Grubby. You sure took care of that guard. That's what I call uh, using your head. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll bet this was a beautiful city once. Yes, such magnificent buildings, but the Gatangs have left them to crumble into ruins. Look, that building looks like the one on the map. Why, so it does! I recognize this place. The treasure is supposed to be right in there. Just think! <laughs> The treasure of Grundo! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go get it. There! Look at that! This looks like it might once have been an important meeting place. I don't see any treasure in here. Just a lot of... Uh, 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 <coughs> dust. It's the other half of the medallion. The two pieces fit together perfectly. What does it say, Teddy? Only the pure of spirit may find the treasure of knowledge. Hmm, the treasure of knowledge. Golly, would you look at that? fell right into my hands. This is amazing! Gold! Diamonds! We really found the treasure of Grundo! You found it, Teddy. Well, it belongs to all of us. No, my friend. The treasure belongs to you three. Being reunited is reward enough for us. I'll be the richest octopede in all of Rolonia. I just hope I can live up to the responsibility. Look, that shaft of light. It's making the stone rise. Gee, what's going on, Teddy? I'm not sure. 
These wedge-shaped objects look like pure uh, uh, crystal. And there's writing on them. I knew this place was special. This one says imagination. This one says honesty. And this one, bravery. Trust. Friendship. Freedom. Hey, wake up! No sleeping on guard duty. Oh, well, where am I? Never mind that. Where's she? The princess! She's escaped! That's right. We'd better sound the alarm. Listen! What's that? It's the Gatang's alarm. They must have discovered that I'm missing. We'd best head for the safety of the airship. You're right, Prince Aaron. Come on, everybody. Well, what about all this treasure? We'll just have to leave it. We can't risk staying here any longer. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. Look, LB! It's Gimmick and those idiotic friends of his. They're running away with some pieces of glass. Maybe we ought to stop them. Let them keep those worthless trinkets. You and I are after larger booty. We come all this way for bigger shoes? Oh, you lame brain! I'm talking about the treasure. And according to the map, it's in... We found it, LB! The treasure of Brundle! Gold and silver! Diamonds and rubies! Oh, be still, my beating heart! It sure sparkles real pretty. Finally, LB! All those years of villainy and treachery and lying and cheating have finally paid off! Gosh, what an inspiring story. This, this is a special moment, I feel. I feel... What do you feel, Twig? I feel a song coming on! It's times like these I wish I had hands so I could cover my ears. No, I won't have bill collectors pounding on my door. Rich. No, I won't be living on a budget anymore. Rich. I won't have to make it or borrow it or make it. All I'm gonna do is to be rich. I guess it don't take brains to be rich. <laughs> oh, yeah. All I'm gonna do is to be rich. We must hurry to the airship. It's our only chance to escape the air, er, uh, uh, Gatangs. Which way is the airship, Gimmick? I'm glad you asked that, Teddy. Hmm. Uh -huh. I believe it's that way. Or, or possibly it's, uh, that way. No, it isn't. It's that way. Look, there it is. Oh! Oh no! The Gatang Warriors! Come on, what are we waiting for? Princess, let me give you a hand, or three or four. Goodness, what a wonderful ship. How does it work? You'll soon see. You make ready to cast off. Fuel up the furnace. Right, Gimmick, start turning the propeller. As you command, Gimmick. Cast off all lines. Aye, aye, Gimmick. Nice old lady left her a uh, wrap. Gee, I hope she's not captured by Gatangs. I think we should go back and save her. What's this? 
It's the real treasure map. How did that little old lady get the map from Tweeg? Maybe that little old lady really was Tweeg. Tweeg? Uh, well, uh, uh, yes, uh, you see, uh, I suspected that something was amiss. Uh, a mister. <laughs> he was trying to get that treasure all along. And we took him right to it. Man your bottle station! Man your bottle station! Ready? Aim! Shoot! Heavens! They're firing at us! And worse yet, they're hitting us! We must get out of range of their weapons! More fuel, Teddy! Aye, aye, Kimmick! Full speed on the propeller line! Full speed it is, Kimmick! Please, sir, I wish to help, too. Very well, and take over fueling the, uh, uh, stove! They're getting out of range, sir! They must not escape! Fire the rock! Yes, sir! Fire the rock! What happened? They've knocked our propeller off with that big rock. Yeah! <laughs> they won't get away now! Fire's a grumbling hook. <laughs> We've got him. Now call him in. We're being pulled back down to the Gatang soldiers. What do we do now? Uh, surrender? We can't do that. Oh, I'm afraid all is lost. We're getting closer and closer to the Gatang camp. Stand back while I cut the tow line. You can't. It's made of uh, metal. At least things can't get any worse. Violet! Do your flying machines! Oh, yes, they can. Look! They have flying machines, too. Lots of them. We're surrounded and severely outnumbered. Isn't there anything we can do? Prince Aaron, do you have those slingshots we made? Right here, Teddy. And Grubby, you bring out the root stew you cooked. Okay. But this sure seems like a strange time to be having breakfast. It's not for eating, Grubby. I have other plans for this. What are you doing? You'll see. say, Grubby's root stew is the stickiest stuff there is. Let me try that. Still really gets to the root of the problem. Aaron, look out! <laughs> Take that! Very effective ammunition, Grubby.
lads. We're matching them shot for shot. But I'm afraid we're about to be outnumbered. Look! They're about to launch more flying machines. Uh-oh, this is bad. We're starting to run out of ammunition. Look, it's the Wooly Watson. He must have climbed the treacherous mountains. Great, we can use all the help we can get. I'm getting out of here. Now we'll beat those Gatangs. Yep, we got them surrounded. Uh-oh! I'll handle this. Good shot, Aaron. Whoa. Oh, the airbag has been hit. We'll lose all our, uh, our air. I'll take that. Hey. Should hold it. It worked. Grubby's root stew stopped the leak. Yep, that stuff's good for anything. <laughs> Watch out, Teddy. Yes, he sacrificed his own life to save us. No greater love hath the watch it for his fellow woolly man. I mean, uh, woolly for his fellow who's it? I mean, uh, I mean. Uh, it's all right, uh, gimmick. We know what you mean. <laughs> woolly, you're alive. Why, sure I am. It takes more than a fall off some dumb old monk to hurt me. Oh, Wooly, I'm so happy you're all right. Gee, are you Princess Arusia? Yes, I am. Oh, gee! My noble friend, your bravery should be rewarded. Name it, and you shall have it. I already got my reward. I got kissed by a real life princess. <laughs> <laughs> and you, my friends, what reward would you like? Anything in our kingdom is yours for the asking. We didn't help you save your sister for a reward. Well, at least keep the crystals we found. I think they were really meant for you, Teddy. Hmm, I wonder what these crystals actually are. I don't know, but I think that somehow they'll make all that treasure we left behind seem like just an illusion. We didn't leave it all behind. I took a little sample. And it looks real enough to me. Huh? LB, I can't pull this all by myself. Come here and give me a hand. Sorry, Twink. I can't give you a hand. Get rid of the well, then use your head. Oh.
Look, Aaron, there's our home. Yes, Arusia, we're home at last. This is Teddy Ruxpin. I'm going to have my own series next year. Come join me and my friends for more exciting adventures very soon. <laughs>